In this video, I want to show you how to make a separate page within your Moodle classroom. This is a feature of Moodle that really unlocks a lot of things, and it'll help you to make your class feel a lot more organized and a lot more professional. Uploading individual assignments and uploading documents and linking to URLs and web pages is all very simple to do, and you can see the other tutorials that I and other people have made to help you with that. But once you do that, your Moodle classroom can start to really quickly become very cluttered. And for students, it can be very confusing. And for you, it can be very hard to organize and keep track of where everything is. The page feature allows you to break components into separate pages and to really compartmentalize uh, your learning objectives and the different parts of your unit or your module. So I'm going to use my vocabulary assignment as an example here. Right now, I just have a Word document that I've uploaded that the students can download. Well, I want to do a little bit different than that. So what I'll do is I'll add a resource and I'm going to add a page. And I'm going to verify that I work at center really quick and unlock my internet again. Pardon me. Alright, we'll quickly get back to government uh, class here. Alright. So I need to add a page by clicking on the Add Resource. And I'm going to call this the Purposes of Government Vocabulary Page. It's going to make me do a description. And I'll just put description because I am not going to display that, so I don't really need to do that. The meat of what we're doing here is in this page content section right here. This is where everything uh, you're going to make will go. Now quickly what the features are to unlock a lot of what you're going to do click this toolbar toggle and all of your toolbar features will pop up. Now at this point you just need to build your page in whatever way you like. You can hyperlink things, you can put pictures, you can put video, you can simply type into it uh, however you like and put instructions. Now instead of building my entire page right here, I'll take you to one that's already in progress for another class. So for this one, we're looking at my modern world history class and we're looking at European geography. This will be one of the first pages that the modern world history class looks at. I've already done quite a bit here including linking to a tutorial and this link will take them to a separate website where they can study European geography. I've also linked here uh, to a quiz that they need to take. And once they take that quiz, I've given them instructions on how to take a screenshot of their score. And then that's actually what they have to turn in. They have to uh, screenshot their score. Now, I'm going to do two things here to show you what we can do. First off, let's make everything a little bit snazzier. So I'm going to take my title. I'm going to bold it, put it in the middle. Uh, we'll make it a larger font. And we might even change the font not to wing dings. <laughs> Let's go impact. Oh, and I think that's all we want to do there. I also want to add a picture. So let's add a map of Europe. If I do a Google search for a map of Europe, I'll click on the images. Moodle makes this really easy to add pictures. All I want to do is click image and I just need this URL. I'm going to copy go back to my page and this tile right here is insert and edit images. So if I click on that, you see there's a spot for the image URL. Very, very easy to put a picture from the internet on here. I'm going to paste that and if I click away, then it'll open up a preview. Now there's a potential that you may need to click over here to appearance and change the size. That's pretty easy to do. You may have to do some guess and check but overall it's it's not that bad. I'm going to go back to general and I will insert this picture. It's going to ask me if I want a description. I don't really need a description. Okay now that picture is a bit too big so you can change the dimensions the hard way or you can just click the corner and you can change them uh, by dragging in from the corner. Okay and I think that's about the size I want. Now I'm having a hard time seeing everything so if you go to these four arrows, we can toggle into full screen mode and get a better idea of what everything's looking at. So now that I've put that map, I think I want to make my tile here even bigger. 
Okay, a couple of aesthetic things. I'm going to add bold to all my section titles. And then the last thing I want to do here is I want to show you how to make a link to somewhere inside your Moodle. So to do this, I'm going to open up a second Moodle page. I'm going to go back to another Modern World History class. So this is the same class, I'm just accessing it from two different locations. So we're doing geography and they're going to need to turn in a geography quiz. So I've got this assignment ready to go here, so I'm going to click on that and this is where they need to turn that in. So I'm going to take this link, I'm going to copy it, I'll go back to my editing page and you see I already have the instructions. Once you're ready to turn the screenshot in for a score, go to the link on the main, main Moodle page or click here. So I want to highlight here. I'm going to insert or edit a link. You can also press Control K and I'm going to paste that link that I had just made. Now I'm going to change this to open a new window so that it pops up in a new window. I don't need a title. I don't need a class. I'm simply going to insert. Okay. So, let's toggle out of full screen. Let's save and return to course. And let's check to make sure it works. Okay, so let's go down to the European Geography page. And we're not going edit to edit it this time. We're just going to click on it. And I want to check that link. And there we go. It pops up to uh, the turn in uh, page and we're good to go.